Chauncey's gone, along with any evidence of the Aldorians. But at least we found Agents J and K. Or rather, their statues. Take a right. I know a guy might have some answers. What? We don't appropriate ancient levels for a decade without making a few acquaintances. TSA Division 6. Your boss has been smuggling clothes in his luggage for far too long. Dr. Thurgood, they just barged in. Agent C. Agent C? Thurgood. Uh, you know this guy? Holy crap. This isn't an immigration issue, Thurgood. We're here because Peter believes you have some information that may pertain to a case. It's fine, Miss Sterrett. I'll take it from here. You knew the truth, Thurgood. You knew about aliens on Earth, and you still joined the crowd calling for my head. Well, for a fringe lunatic, you were too good of an investigator, Peter. I suppose it was inevitable you would join the MIB. Well, I'm wearing this suit because I look good in it. I am not one of them. And it's still Dr. Delacour to you. You couldn't take that away from me. We found the Book of Nemu. We need your help to make sense of it. A book? Uh, uh, sure. Well, leave it there on the table, and I'll have my graduate students peruse it as soon as they have a, uh, a spare minute. It's not just a book. It's the Book of Nemu. Legendary artifact? Made of gold? Alien origins? Stop me when this starts ringing a bell. The Book of Nemu? <laughs> what, what next? Aladdin's lamp? You know, the fact that some of your theories have indeed proven correct certainly does not mean that all of them are. Look at the cartouche on the cover. You seen this before? Nemu. This is all I've been able to decipher so far, but the rest looks pretty familiar. You are possibly the world's best Egyptologist, Thurgood, and besides, you owe me. The Book of Nemu does not exist. Well, or at least, uh, uh, not the mythical object of power. Now, I, I lost interest in this subject a long time ago. Now, if you're done wasting my time, I'd like to return to my work. Tell you what, how about we open the book to page one? It'll only take a minute, right? I'd strongly advise against it. <laughs> I mean, if it is indeed old, that, that doesn't mean it is the Book of Nemo. Uh, mind you, who knows what bacteria lie dormant in its pages. And as I said, uh, leave it here, and I will look at it later. All right, you know what? I am done with the good cop. How would you like it if I dragged you back to your peers by your slimy little tentacles? And then we'll see who's the fringe lunatic. Mr. Delacour, that's enough. Code 487-7 stipulates that an agent will under no circumstance reveal the true nature of an alien entity. Exposure is the opposite of what we do. So stand down. Please. Hey, check it out. When it's next to this hypocritical cactus, the book glows. How do you explain that, you two-faced vegetable? Oh, I see. It glows. Therefore, it must be a prehistoric Egyptian artifact of awesome power. A one-dollar toy from Chinatown can do that. Please, agency. I have important work to get back to. Unlike the former Dr. Delacour here, I actually do earn an honest living. Yeah, honest, sure. Says the alien in disguise. Uh, you don't mind if I just look around your office for a bit, hmm? Fine, well, yes, if you must, but don't touch anything. We could really use your help on this, Thurgood, for the safety of the planet. Well, I, I'll do my best. You know, I always help the men in black when they come calling. Hmm. I see you haven't filled out Form 415-Z. You only have two weeks before the deadline. Well, that's Xenoism. You know my race doesn't believe in linear concepts of time. But you do believe in having an updated blue card, correct? Because without one, we can throw you off planet on the next shuttle to Alpha Centauri. You can't be serious. Octana Accord, section 223, subsection 51. I should think you know it. I mean, you wrote it. Uh, that was issued so that your agency could deport grave robbers. Yeah, but it's in the fine print, isn't it? Any unlicensed extraterrestrial dealing with antiquity... Praise be to you, daughter of Ra, slayer of the... The prayer of Sir Ket, yes. Yes, so your life of crime hasn't completely erased the archaeologist in you, Peter. Oh, 
Oh, seeing your restoration lab made me feel all nostalgic. No, wait, I meant angry. Thanks for taking away my dreams. Oh, no, no, spare me the weeping. You, you, you did it yourself with your foolish urge to expose the greatest cover-up in history. Well, I mean, what, what did you think would happen? If it hadn't been me, uh, someone else would have shot you down eventually. Yes, well, then maybe even your newfound friends. We typically just ignore those who are obvious crackpots. You had a very interesting circuit back there, Thurgood. Don't you think the writing on the cover of this book looks a lot like the inscription on her dress? Well, we discovered it in ancient Assur, uh, in what we assume to be the tomb of Tudia, the first king of the Assyrian period. But I I'd have to thoroughly examine both texts before I could say anything. Praise be to you, mighty... Uh, Thurgood?